So, this week we're doing something quite different from what we're used to, because this is Trail Mappers. This is basically a mold or extension for the game, for Trail Mappers obviously, and it allows you to make maps, but a um, lot quicker than we used to be able to. So this is something I've thrown together really quite quickly, but it kind of shows the potential. Um, I haven't exported this at all. Um, Mainly because I'm now on my new PC, so I'll put the specs down in the description or something, and I'll, I'll see what I'll do. But oh, my last PC, I started to work on this thing. Um, so this is supposed to be a road, it's kind of rocky. So it's supposed to be a jungle map, which it's obviously very far from being finished. Um, this will be the entire map, and I'll still have to look, do something here. But no, it's, it's huge. <laughs> But I want, what I wanted to do first is kind of show you how you can build stuff. So, just grab, well, let's just do two trees for now. You can move them around. Oh, we should put tree, oh no, I grabbed the wrong thing. Should put a few trees on the top of this rock, don't you think? It's a great spot for some, some trees. <laughs> I just go and edit it like this. It also auto saves, as you can see. It's it's, it's actually like pretty amazing. <laughs> it's really well made. Uh, so who made this? Uh, ridiculous. Uh, it's still in the test uh, branch, t play testing. Um, you can't quite yet get your hands on it, unless you know really, um, unless he gives you a key, but or adds you. Um, that's okay. I uh, he gave me permission to show it right now, so um, that's what we're doing. And that's how you make a little hill with trees. So all I want to do is export this. Now it's saved to my mods folder. Okay, so I loaded in the map. Um, oh, all the stuff is over there. Whoa, some visual. Glitchiness, that's okay though. Let's get a vehicle, let's blur all of it again. <laughs> that's going to be a pain to edit, I can already feel it. Oh well. Have to get a good vehicle for this. Oh, it's a jungle, obviously we have to get a Huey. Do I really have a choice in this case? If I, if I didn't get a Huey, it would just it'd be a war crime. Like the Huey is. Uh, that's not true. I got a. Oh! I see why it was doing weird. <laughs> I was inside of the ground. <laughs> huh. yeah, let's fly all the way over there. So now that we are there, we can see it actually imports all of it without any problems, which is surprising. I, I didn't have to do anything, I could just export the map and do it all for me. Which is great. Uh, it looks great too. Um, some of these trees are floating because I just copy pasted a bunch of trees around. But yeah, it looks great. <laughs> it's actually really good. I imagine if I fill all of this with this kind of detail, make a road through it. It's supposed to be kind of a Vietnam map because I'm interested in that, I guess. I, I think it looks cool. I, I've played too much Rising Storm. <laughs> I also want to make a little town, but I haven't quite yet figured out how to import uh, my own models. Which, if you didn't know, I can make my own models in Blender. I haven't downloaded it on this PC yet, but I will. So, I should have probably not made the plants this big. The these are a little... I don't think a fern should be bigger than the helicopter. <laughs> Can't not use this <laughs> on the trees. Oh well, uh, so this is the potential. This is just a showcase of what this uh, program can do. It looks really promising, so let's quit the game and do some more. Let's show you some more of the assets you can put in. 
you know, it, it has a, obviously it has a massive amount of potential. This this changing the the modding game basically. So edit map. Let's bounce right in. See how fast that was. Okay, that, that might have to do with the new PC because it's quite a lot faster than the old one. But all of this, it, it all works too. It's it's really cool. Um, there's a oh okay, that's a really big road piece that I'm not going to put in. <laughs> it does not fit the map. It's even animations and stuff. It, it really is amazing. These are structures, and then there's barrels and stuff which actually fit really well in the map. So I don't think that's what a magnetic cube is. <laughs> a few weird things, but these are just the names of the stuff in game. Like this, this is like straight off ripped out of Trailmakers uh, files. You know, we, we could put a whale in here, <laughs> I guess. There, there's just so many options, or torpedo. I think this is just a texture mapping thing. Ah, oh, well. oh, it's actually a boulder, but there's no boulders in the game. <laughs> well, no used boulders. We have grass, rocks, desert rocks. Um, there's a great assortment of trees too. Which I don't know, what is this? This is a cactus tree. <laughs> Don't think there are such things in real life. <laughs> That's interesting. I was planning on using a bunch of these mangrove. I think it's a vanna tree, but oh, that—that's one of the things that are kind of annoying. Um, I have to scroll all the way in. That's one of the things that I don't really like is how when you click on the ground, it just zooms out really fast. That's just kind of annoying. I'll put some palm trees in there, get some, like a chart space, basically, I was playing on... Now, I can basically click on this, now I can move faster. Um, I was planning on doing that here, so, you know, let's do that. Um, uh, be good. This should be good. So, let's make it bigger, we could just go to scale, just... Okay, maybe maybe put it on like 50, 50. No, that's 150. That's 500. <laughs> 50. 50. 50. <laughs> and then you get a huge piece of land, um, which I could just put it in the ground a little. Uh, I could just... And for... Like easier ways of moving it around a bit, you could just use this, which is really cool. Um, it's actually really easy to like. Once you kind of get the hang of it, the controls are basically the same as the default ones in Trail Makers, which very thoughtful. <laughs> it's basically like built mode in Trail Makers, to be honest. Um, I think I want to put this down a bit, also maybe we could drive up here. Yeah, that looks good. Um, so what I want to do is duplicate this. Oh, that's the wrong axis of rotation. <laughs> and go like this. And now we have double rock. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson would be proud. That's a terrible joke. <laughs> I could put like a fortress or something up here. That would be pretty cool. But there isn't a whole lot of um, ways to build uh, structures. Even on the structures there. Like it's mainly just, it's just the default Trailmakers assets at the moment. Um, I don't think there's a way to make your own quite yet. At least not in here. That's spawn. I'm still also figuring stuff out, to be honest. Uh, I right click or something. No. Honestly, uh, <laughs> this is already amazing. That wasn't already clear <laughs> by me being really excited. Um, oh, no. 
I don't want to do that. Yeah, it, some controls are a little finicky, to be fair. But that is to be expected, like fully expected that. <laughs> oh, I'm, what have I done? Well, that more like this, probably. Uh, you can probably drive up this, maybe not, maybe. Uh, I don't know, uh, we'll see. So this would be the place where I put all the um, chart stuff. So like this would be kind of like a place that would have been bombed or something. Uh, I could probably put a reference image of um, a rising storm map. Hill something something. <laughs> I don't know, I love that out of the top of my head. Obviously. And there's a bunch of those places in the game, but this would be, yeah. This is probably an easy way to like use those um, square things. Oh no, I didn't want to click on that. Makes it easy to look around. Um, Obviously this map would be an insane amount of models and it would probably lag out most PCs when I'm done. So we'll see if anyone is actually able to run it, but I don't know. Um, yeah, this is going to be, take a really long time to finish. So it, it is still a lot faster than it would be normally than just uh, using uh, the other mods that is made by the same creator. Um, but that would still take a lot longer. So this is already a huge improvement, though it's still pretty slow. Kind of sad there hasn't much structures yet. Um, I could make my own with wooden crates and stuff. I think I have made a little something up here, yeah. So this would even be destructible. It's not, it's not a lot, but it's something. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. Um, so let's export it. So I should be in the right map now. Um, I think it worked because I see a giant thingamabob over there. <laughs> so we should, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely more orange than it is this weird green. <laughs> I see a tree stump. So the scale here is absolutely massive, obviously. Uh, that's a bit of a hole there. Didn't think of that. Are these spawning pretty late? Oh well. It's fine. I think the collisions are a little weird on some parts because it's just using the default uh, in-game models with the in-game collisions. And Unity handles collisions a little oddly. I don't know. Uh, you can basically phase through it a bit, but that's okay. It's no big deal. But here you can see how it works, and obviously my workflow is pretty bad, as I don't have much experience with this yet. Emphasis on yet. <laughs> I'll be using this a lot more. This this will be a great map, <laughs> I hope. I'm going to try my best. Um, so yeah, you, you can just see the massive skill. I wish I could, like, turn off the fog, but I don't think I can. There's no options in here. So motion blur should be enabled from the beginning. But <laughs> so you can make some pretty detailed train with this. And it's all just using the in-game models. Um, so, um, yeah, that's basically it for this video. I'll have to edit a lot out and I'll have to blur a bunch of stuff and we'll see how, I, how I'll do that. But, um, yeah, this, this, I just wanted to put an emphasis on how much potential this mod has, because it, it's really good. Like, like it, it's really good. Um, good job, Breedy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I can't wait for the mod to actually get, come out. I hope we'll one day we'll be able to upload our own um, models and see if it 
you know, we can actually make our own, absolutely our own maps, which, this is already, like, pretty close to our own maps, <laughs> but we're still limited to some stuff. So I really hope one day <laughs> we'll absolutely be able to create our own stuff, or even make our own models in this, which uh, would probably be impossible, that would be a lot of work to make for really, uh, for us. Um, but maybe, oh, we'll just have to use Blender. I'm not great at making my own um, textures yet, so we'll have to see. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys next week.